light from a laser is used to produce an interference pattern on the screen as shown in this figure you can see that this is uh, the wavelength of 66 nanometers 660 nanometers passing through uh, a double slit and here we can see uh, different types of fringes that are formed the light of wavelength 660 nanometers is incident normally on the two slits and have a separation of 0.44 millimeters the double slit is parallel to the screen the perpendicular distance between the double slit and the screen is also given as 1.8 meters the center bright fringe on the screen is formed at point o the next dark at point below point o is formed at point p and then we have another bright fringe that is formed at q and r and so on so they're saying that the light waves from the two slits are coherent state what is meant by coherent now two waves are said to be two or multiple waves are said to be in coherence with each other as long as their path difference is a constant so it's for one mark so it suffice to say that uh, waves are coherent if they're path difference is constant the next part is that for the two light waves superposing at r calculate the difference in their path lengths in nanometers from the slits so they're superposing at r over here so the path difference uh, what is this uh, length this would be that would be 1.5 into the wavelength, right? Which is 1.5 into 660 nanometers, which gives me 990 nanometers. Now, the next is their phase difference. The phase difference is given by 1.5 into 10 raised, uh, sorry, into uh, 360 degrees. So that would be 540 degrees. Next part says calculate the distance OQ. So what is OQ? This is O and this is Q. So it's the distance between two fringes, right? Br between two bright fringes. How can we calculate this distance? We know that we have a relation that uh, relates this distance with the wavelength and the uh, separation of the slits and then the separation of the source and the screen as well uh, and that is the formula for the wavelength that states that lambda equals a x over d now the distance between the two fringes successive fringes bright fringes is this x right so we want x x is lambda times d over a what is lambda 660 nanometers so that's 660 into 10 raised to power minus 9 what is d d is the separation between the two uh, uh, slit and the screen, right? So that's 1.8. So 1.8 meters divided by A is the gap between the slits. This one 0 0.44 into 10 raised to power minus 3 meters. So you can see that this gives me 2.7 into 10 raised to power minus 3 meters. So that's the distance. Okay. Next, they say that the intensity of the light incident on the double slit is increased without changing the frequency describe how the appearance of the fringes after this change is different from and similar to their appearance before the change so note that the intensity is double uh, is increased right but frequency is not changed so the intensity is increased but the frequency has not changed so what would happen for the fringes because the intensity has increased the fringes would be brighter right the bright fringes would be would get even brighter because the intensity has increased right number of photons hitting per unit area that has increased so the, fr the fringes bright fringes would be very bright dark fringes because they're dark the intensity of the light has nothing to do with that so dark fringes remain unchanged remain unchanged what about the separation between the fringes right the separation between the fringes will not be affected because the frequency has not been changed the frequency has been constant so if that frequency has been constant the spacing between the fringes will be invariant
So you can say something like uh, there is no change in fringe separation or fringe gap. Next, they say that the light of wavelength 660, 660 nanometers is now replaced by blue light from laser. State and explain the change, if any, that must have made on the separation of two slits so that the fringe separation on the screen is the same as it was for the light of wavelength of 660 nanometers. So, well, we know we have to state and explain, right? Think about this. Well, the wavelength of blue light right so you know that uh, blue light or the blue region of the uh, electromagnetic spectrum has relatively shorter wavelength right because it has a higher energy so you can start by arguing that blue uh, light will have a short wavelength what does that mean if there if the wavelength is shorter Remember the formula was lambda is equal to a x over d. This is the separation. A is constant, d is constant. If I decrease lambda, x should decrease. So this would imply that the fringe gap or separation decreases.